Those of you who've been following my channel have probably seen I've done a couple of product reviews. I reviewed the Duro tires I put on the bike and the Touratech uh, water containers that I put on here, both of which I'm very happy with still. Today I'm going to do another product review, but it's a little bit different. The folks over at Survivor Wear saw my channel and contacted me and asked me if I'd review one of their products. I, of course, said yes. Send it over. Let's take a look. Now, when I've gone through my gear kit, I've mentioned numerous times the importance of a first aid kit. And I've got this inexpensive little kit. I got it Wally World. And it's done okay. I fortunately have not had to make much use of it. But it's got the basic items, band-aids, gauze, and... Uh, some antiseptic stuff in it. It's not a very complete kit, but it's compact and will take care of most of the things that happen out in the field. The folks at Survivor Wear sent me their first aid kit. Now, first of all, it is quite a bit bigger, so there's room for more stuff, but the further away from civilization you are, the more important that is. I've mentioned before, I'm not looking for a complete trauma kit because quite frankly, if I need that, I'm probably not going to be able to help myself. But I have had occasions where I've needed things that weren't in this kit. So let's see. We have six inch banded shears, 600D polyester bag, adhesive bandages, including five medium butterflies, five large butterflies, five H shape, two large bandages, five mini bandages, five squares, 20 standard bandages, alcohol wipes, antiseptic wipes, first aid guide, marine gauze swab, cotton gauze swab, there's three of those, CPR kit with mask, crepe bandage, emergency mylar blanket, iPads, hyperallergenic tape, laminate baggies, one pair of nitrile gloves, PBT bandage, Q-tips, 10 Q-tips, four safety pins, two splinter probes, Sterostrip closures, three of those, sting relief wipes, triangular bandage, there's one of those, one tweezer, and one whistle. That's a pretty complete kit certainly has a lot more in it than my small kit. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the bag and they send it in a really nice sealed bag with an easy to tear open. Uh, this thing's never tear easy for me, but and then a Ziploc so it can res be resealed again if you choose to do that or you can just run it like this. So let's take a look. The two kits, obviously the new one's quite a bit larger than my old kit. And let's take a look at what's in the old kit in some detail. It's got a nice zipper pouch, belt and clip. That clip doesn't look very secure, but um, it's a nice small lightweight kit. And it has Uh, let's see, some gauze. Uh, let's see, sunscreen. Uh, quick clean insect pr uh, protection cream. Some small band-aids, some medium band-aids. Antibiotic o ointment. Uh, burn cream, that's important. Some butterfly closures some square bandages. So all the basics. And when I got it, that's why I got it. It was small and had all the basics. And it pretty much lives in my saddlebag and that's it. Now let's take a look at the Survivor Wear Kit. Quite a bit bigger. It's got an outside zipper pocket. 
Let's see what's in there. Uh, personal medications. So if you carry prescriptions with you, you can keep them in here. You can keep the actual prescription in here with it, which is fairly convenient. It does also have a belt loop and plenty of places to hook onto things if you wanted to carry it hook it onto something, strap it onto something. So that's cool. It also is set up so you can wear it either horizontal or vertical on a belt. That's nice. Or on a uh, backpack strap, something like that. Let's see what's inside. Very nicely organized. It's actually, all the pockets are labeled. And it's a pretty substantial list of stuff, but it looks like it fits in there very well. Um, you've got the tape, the hyperallergenic tape. You got the, let's see, adhesive dressings uh, for minor wounds. You got the CPR kit. Uh, you got the six inch shears, safety pins, uh, roll of gauze, whistle. And let's see, over here we've got pressure bandage, a uh, big ace bandage for sprains or pressure on major wounds. Uh, let's see, skin cleaning wipes um, for basic cleanup and says hygiene. Uh, cotton gauze swabs and iPads and triangular bandage and emergency blanket. It's quite a bit of stuff. Um, some things that are in here that the other kit doesn't have, the triangular bandage and the emergency blanket, which if you have somebody going into shock or you're going into shock, that's a really important item to have. Uh, the iPads are nice. I can't tell you how many times I've been out in the bush and been whacked in the face by a branch, scratched my eye. So that's actually a nice thing to have. The whistle is a great safety item. If you're lost, can't be, get back to your campsite, whatever. If you're stuck, if you're hurt, you can't walk, the whistle's important. And this one is anodized aluminum. That's a nice solid little whistle. And it seems to be pretty loud. The shears. It's actually really good to have a set of shears and the safety pins are good for all sorts of stuff. The tape, of course, and the minor wound dressing and how it's laid out is really nice. I like this. Fits in a nice compact container. I was able to pull a couple of things out here and actually put them back and know where they go. And as most of you who've been watching this channel are probably aware I'm kind of a, a freak for organization here. So being able to put things back in the proper place and keep track of them is a big deal. So there you have it. That is the Survivor Wear first aid kit without actually using it. Um, I can tell you it's better equipped than the kit I had. It's still compact. And it actually has additional items over my old kit that I would want to have. So I'd say this is a good item. So there it is. I hope all of you stuck around to the end of the video to get that promotional code. And that code is BikerB10. So go to the Survivor Wear website. There's a link in the description. And Order one of these first aid kits. I think it's a really good thing to have. I recommend anybody have one on their bike, in their car, in their truck, their boat. Survivor wear, it's a win. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.